Hey guys, if I were to ask you what the most beautiful equation math is, I'm sure to receive a large variety of answers, ranging from Einstein's general theory of relativity to even Schrodinger's equations, and it even might include the Fourier transform. But actually, it's none of these. According to many mathematicians, the most beautiful equation math is Euler's identity. Invented by Euler himself, this Euler's identity has received much praise from many mathematicians. Euler's identity is amazing because it is simple to look at and yet incredibly profound, says David Percy of the University of Salford. And if you're wondering how is it beautiful, let's take a look. It contains some of the most beautiful mathematical constants, starting with Euler's number e, the imaginary unit i, pi, the multiplicative identity 1 and the additive identity 0. Let's take a look at E. Well, I'll discuss one specific example where E shows up and it's very interesting. If you were to consider the graph y is equal to e to the power of x, it is the only graph in mathematics where the derivative at each point is equal to the area under the curve from negative infinity to that point. And a special case is that the derivative at x is equal to 1 and the area under the curve from negative infinity to 1 is both equal to e. Let's talk about the imaginary unit i. From being one of mathematical confusion to being absolutely important in today's mathematics. For example, quaternions a number system that was used to extend the complex plane and at the heart of quaternions is nothing but the imaginary unit i and quaternions have been used in computer science for 3d vector rendering software such as opengl and 3d game engines such as unity specifically for the rotation of objects and now let's take a look at good old pi from its definition, being the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, approximated as 3.14159 early on, is equal to pi. And it doesn't even stop there. It appears in legendary math problems. And I'll talk about one of them now. If you were to take the sum of the reciprocal of the square number starting from 1 to infinity, will it tends to converge to a number, well, what number do you think it converges to? Well, this problem is known as the famous Basel problem. And turns out, this converges to pi squared over 6. There is a special reason as to why pi occurs here. Again, more on that in another video. Let's start off with e to the power of i pi plus 1 equals to 0. Let's rearrange it. And now we must understand that this is a special case of Euler's formula evaluated when theta equals to pi. And if you want to understand the most beautiful equation in math, you need to understand what Euler's formula says. And I will be using calculus, specifically the Maclaurin series, to prove this. And if you're unfamiliar with the Maclaurin series, I welcome you to check out my video on the Maclaurin series on my channel and head back to this video. Assuming that we are on the same page, let's write down the Maclaurin definition of e to the power of x. And as always, let's rewrite the right hand side in a more tangible form so that we will know to evaluate each of these derivatives at x is equal to 0. And I have already proved that the derivative of e to the power of x is also e to the power of x. Well, taking that into consideration, let's evaluate each of these derivatives at x is equal to 0. Since e to the power of 0 is 1, all of these derivatives evaluate to 1. And well, what's left is just to substitute these values into the Maclaurin definition of e to the power of x. And then we have the Maclaurin definition for e to the power of x. So you may be wondering, 
What's next? Well, we must find the Maclaurin series for sin x and cos x. So let's start with f of x equals sin x. As always, let's differentiate this. The first derivative equals to cos x, the second derivative, the third derivative, and for the sake of understanding, let's go twice more and find the fifth derivative as well. Routinely, the next step is to find each of these derivatives at x is equal to zero. Well, after that, let's rewrite the Maclaurin definition for sin x. As always, let's rewrite the right hand side in a more tangible form. Now it's kind of routine, right? At this point, we just need to substitute each of these derivatives in the Maclaurin definition. And there we have it, the Maclaurin series for sin x. And the next thing is to find the Maclaurin series for cos x. And I expect you to do it on your own, but I'll quickly run through it. Alright, so this is routine by now. You get the derivatives of f of x is equal to cos x. Well, let's say, let's do it five times just for the sake of understanding as before. Always evaluate them at x is equal to zero and write down the Macron definition and just substitute each of these derivatives evaluated at x is equal to zero. Easy, right? It's so easy. And then there we have it. The Maclaurin series for cos x. So my dear friends, are you ready for the grand finale where we will prove Euler's formula? Well, I'm sure you are. Alright, so let's start with the Maclaurin series for e to the power of x. And let's replace x by i theta. Let's do it for the right hand side as well. Now, let's carefully simplify this. Remember that i squared is equal to minus 1 now all this. Alright, now that we simplified it, let's group the real terms together and the imaginary terms together. Now, for clarity, let's bring in the Maclaurin series for cos theta. And let's bring in the Maclaurin series for sine theta. And now it is quite obvious that the real part is cos theta and the imaginary part is sine theta. And there we have proved Euler's formula. And if evaluated at theta equals to pi, you get the most beautiful equation mathematics. And it is so popular that Richard Feynman even called it our jewel. And it's so popular that there's a children's rhyme. Well, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on this farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O Dear viewer, if you watch till the very end, I respect that because it shows me that you appreciate the value and time it takes to make these videos. And I welcome you to check some other videos on my channel. And until the next video, goodbye.